Hello, this is another painting I'm working on. This is an oil. And what I'm doing right now, I'm laying in the rope. It's an old rope, old weathered rope. And this is also a fun painting. You can learn a lot from your paintings. It can increase your ability to be more precise, especially when doing these ropes. Uh, see how it's entangled everywhere around this old stump. Is beaten. I put in the striations of the wood from the weather. It then just tore it up, but it has a beautiful effect. When when painting any anything, have reference points as a to how exactly you're gonna lay it out, what you're gonna do with it. Just take your time, do research. I always do some type of research. And if you find a painting you like, you can always tweak it. I'm, this one here, I'm tweaking it to the way I want it. What I feel is gonna Increase the value of it. Make it look even better than the original. You make it your, your own. And once you start, you get more comfortable with what you're doing. And once you start seeing those things take shape, I'm telling you, it's no feeling like it to create something that out of virtually nothing. It's uplifting. I know it is for me. It might not be for everybody. I'm just speaking on my own behalf. I enjoy painting. And I especially enjoy the outcome after I'm finished to see exactly how it looks. And sometimes you have to go back to tweak it. It's, it's okay to tweak. You have to. If you're striving for perfection, you're going to be tweaking your paintings quite often to make sure the color tone is right, the hues, the tints. And I appreciate everybody who gave me support and looking at my YouTube channels. Uh, I hadn't started doing the quick uh, time lapse as of yet. I'm not crazy about it. Uh, I kind of like doing these here just to show the actual time, real time that it is, how they come into shape. With the other ones, when you're increasing that time, you know, I, I think you lose a lot with it. Now, I'm not saying it's bad. Everything has a has a good point, more or less. But you see right now how I'm working on the rope. And later on, I'm going to come back and put more highlights in it. After this oil, oil dries a good bit. And you have to study your hand on something. I'm using two hands right now doing this here.
believe this bird is called a kingfisher. Pretty sure that's the name of it. I like animals. I like doing people. I virtually like drawing any and everything. Uh, I'm pretty diverse. A lot of people ask me, well, what you like drawing? I said, virtually everything. More or less. But as you continue to draw and experiment, you're going to see some things you may do better than others. Uh, I found that me drawing eyes is, is a real strong point that I have. Drawing eyes. Uh, the realism and you can set set the eyes at a certain point where if you move they appear to be actually following you it can get kind of creepy sometimes but it, it's pretty cool how it's done I may have a segment on that one day soon also But uh, with this rope, I'm just laying it out, putting the twist and the turns and the highlights in it. And once it dries to a certain point, what I'm gonna do is also put put the little small strands. You know how those ropes be having small strands in them? And again, that's looking for for detail, trying to put the detail in there. With oils, what I do with my oils, I let them dry to a certain extent, and I come back, and I work, I work in layers. And you can see, when you work in layers, you can really get some super details in your painting. Really, really good details. And if you're good enough, you can come in and put those cast shadows, surface shadows, and reflective shadows. Wherever they may fall. And I tell you people that will definitely enhance your photographs. Uh, not photographs, your paintings. So you can see right now. How this rope. Is taking shape. You don't want it too smooth. You want to see the striations in the rope. Say so later on, you're going to come back and put more in there and everything. And with any, anything, ropes, just like anything else, are going to form a pattern. And it's up to you to follow that pattern and make sure that's the pattern. That type of rope or whatever you're drawing, it actually take on. And with each pattern, you're going to see a difference. Because guess what? It's a pattern. What I'm doing right now, I'm blocking in the color. See, most of these paintings that I do, I mix and match and just 
changed the whole form of it to a certain extent that it's different than the painting that I'm, I'm looking at. You can still see it, but I want to create, put my own little twist to it, more or less, what I'm saying. And once you start doing that, especially when you figure out what you like to draw, if you want to do abstract, if you want to be detailed artist or whatever, just want to doodle. Just remember, take your time, have fun with it. Don't let the painting stress you out. It's a painting. It's not supposed to stress you out. It's supposed to help you relieve the stress. When doing animals, um, like this bird, I laid it out first, lightly, and I came back and started putting more detail in. And that's virtually with anything. You don't, with oil painting, please, I'm iterating on this, don't place too much paint on your canvas. What'll happen, you get frustrated. The paint it takes so long to dry. You ever heard that old, old expression? It's like watching paint dry. Well, you definitely don't want that. You want your painting to uh, dry an adequate time. Right now, I don't use any type of dryers or anything on my paint. I just let them dry as is. Some artists do, uh, depending on what type of deadline they may have, but I don't, uh, I'm not saying I never will use them, but right now I, I just don't use any type of uh, dryers or anything on any, any of my, my paintings, you know. And that's just by choice. And whenever you start painting, what you like, you, you may want to resort to that, but right now I I don't use any type of dryers or anything uh, to help aid with the drying time of my of paintings. And you see, I'm loading the brush very little, very little. And this is burnt un umber in Mars black I'm using. Keep um subscribing to my YouTube channels. Uh, later on, I will have a, a giveaway, uh, probably around Christmas time. Um, I'm probably gonna be giving away one of my paintings. Uh, it's gonna be a reproduction, not, not original. And later on, I may, may just have original too. But right now, just uh, keep subscribing and following me. I really appreciate all my customers and friends alike uh, for following my channel and, and giving me support. And I'm gonna be signing off and I'm gonna be continually showing you different bits and pieces of, of my work, you know? And I really appreciate the time and patience and the subscription to my channels and take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.